All right, what's up guys? My name is John. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a quick cinematic looking thumbnail. So what you're going to want to do is have your video exported and scrub through till you find a frame that you'd like to use for your thumbnail. I usually like to use something relatively simple and I want to make sure it's one of my best shots in the video. So what I like to do after I have my thumbnail selected and uh, screenshot using command shift four, I like to drag it into Photoshop where I will use a 16 by nine crop to make sure I take advantage of all the space that YouTube lets you have in uh, creating a thumbnail. Once I have a 16 by nine crop applied, I'm going to import my logo. For a lot of videos, I like to do a little custom logo. I was a design student for a while, so I really like doing different logo designs. I think it really just adds a nice touch. It makes your video stand out from other videos. So uh, I would definitely recommend doing a logo if you wanna spend the time doing it, but if not, then you can just use text too. So once I have my logo dropped in, I will size it up, make sure it's kind of at the center of the thumbnail, and then I'll move on to adding text. So you'll hit the type tool, type your title or whatever you want the thumbnail to say, and get that sized up. So what I like to do with my thumbnails is kind of uh, keep with a consistent font. I always use Helvetica Neue Condensed Bold, and oftentimes I like to put a space in between text. I would recommend sticking with the same font across your channel. This kind of keeps a consistent brand, and it makes your channel just kind of more coherent and appealing to look at rather than having like 40 different fonts across your different thumbnails. It definitely just gives your channel a more professional look. So once you have your text placed and your logo placed, you're gonna wanna move on to adding effects. Uh, one simple effect that I usually use that really makes the title pop is just a simple drop shadow. You're gonna click your layer and then click your effects button and head down to drop shadow. Just apply a simple drop shadow. It really makes it pop off the thumbnail and makes your thumbnail stick out. And yeah, that's pretty much my process for creating thumbnails for YouTube. It takes about three minutes a piece and you get a pretty solid result every time. If you enjoyed this video, it'd be awesome if you'd leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.